Here's the deal. Okay. I love you. I think they're in love. I think. Oh, leave me alone. Here's, there, there's a precedent for this. And uh, I've actually seen this firsthand um, of a very, very, very famous woman marrying an obscure multimillionaire athlete. And that was when Kim Kardashian married my best friend, Chris Humphreys, and I was a groomsman in the wedding. And I saw this up front. Okay. So uh, I'm going to give you guys my perspective as someone who's seen this before and is I'm sniffing this thing out. Okay. Because I think we're all kind of getting played like a fiddle right now by Taylor, by Travis, by the NFL by Hollywood, by corporations, by big tech, by big pharma, I'll explain. So here's how this thing works. Taylor's single, okay? Yeah, there's me with the, all right, right thank there. you. Where? Right we don't there. need that, we'll keep it moving. Uh, so here's how this works. Uh, you obviously need a connection. Nobody's gonna fake it. Right. But when there's a connection, you can amplify certain other things. What do I mean? So, Taylor is on tour. Let's go with the facts here. Mm -hmm. Taylor's on tour. She's recently single. Who said that she broke up with her boyfriend of six years? How long ago was that? Oh gosh, it's been like, I would say about a year. Perfect. So not too soon, but not too late. Not too hot, not too cold. All right, just right. So. Goldie over there said the, 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 hit the nail on the head. He has a what behind her? You said? Strategic team. A strategic team. Uh, you don't think Taylor has lawyers, oh, yeah. managers, agents, publicists, PR people, just a squad of people whose job it is to capitalize and monetize on Taylor's fame. Even if she's just Taylor Little Old Swift singing her yodely dodely song, all good. Her team oh, gets yeah. paid hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to make that girl a megastar, a, go, a global icon and a billionaire, and they take a commission. So even if she don't give up, her team does. Got it. So there's, there's this strategic team. She's single. They go, she's going on tour. It started in, uh, earlier this summer. Ticketmaster debacle had bad PR with her name on it. Was it her fault? No. Was it her fault that she was just too famous? Maybe but that's her team's fault. Point it was a bad look, so they said, all right, our darling Taylor, she's won 11 Grammys, okay? We can't have this bad press. She's about to start this heiress tour. We got billions of dollars on the line. We need, we need more. We need more. We need more, right? What's more? Well, the, the, the girls love her. From 12 to 40 women love her. Raise your hand if you just actually like Taylor Swift. I like her. She's okay. cool. We have two haters in the comments over there. Okay, I don't know why. Anti. I don't follow her. Anti. All right. But the really point is, the most joke. women like Taylor Swift. Most dudes, we think she's, you know, attractive. We're not listening to her. So there it is. Boom. She's got a movie going out. It's about to make $100 million in the movie. She's worth $750 million. Uh, she's a megastar. The uh, heiress tour is literally being commented on by the Fed. The Federal Reserve making an impact in local economies. Uh, her air store is expected to generate $4.5 billion in sales. And I asked the question, is that enough? Is that okay to dominate? And their strategic team, as Goldie pointed out, said, what are we missing? Who's not listening to Taylor Swift or talking about Taylor Swift enough? Well, let's look at the demos. Well, apparently dudes 21 to 45 don't give a shit about Taylor Swift. Why not? Yeah, that's just not their thing. Well, what if she makes different music? Nah, that's not the play because she's going to abandon her core audience. If we learned anything from Dylan Mulvaney and Bud Light, you don't abandon your core audience. You try to add to it. Got it. All right, guys, we're in a marketing meeting. We got the strategists here. We got the whole strategic team, right, Goldie? What do we got? You know, there's some young intern. I'm like, I got an idea. How about we get an NFL player? Because, you know, dudes like football and beer. They're like, all right, Sparky, great idea. Who do we pick? Awesome. We're going to try to get the biggest sports team, sport in America, NFL. It's not even a question. 
Now let's find a guy to basically have a relationship with Taylor. All right. All right, so knowing Taylor Swift, you know, it's going to be a white guy. She's never dated a black guy. Sorry, Goldie, you're a good-looking dude. But you didn't make the cut. Sorry, Lamar Jackson, it ain't you. Okay, cool. Can I ask Let's, you what's Hold on, baby, I'm on a roll here. So uh, we got to find a player here. All right, we, don't, we want him to be famous, but not too famous. It can't be Tom Brady, okay? It can't be like... Aaron Rodgers, right? Like, they, there's drama going on there. We got to find a guy who's good looking, big, strong, famous, but not too famous because we don't want her competing. She's the boss here. Okay, cool. All right, uh, let's maybe look at who won the last Super Bowl. All right, Kansas City Chiefs. Cool, that's a good place to look. Everyone knows that team. Who's the quarterback? Patrick Mahomes. Okay, cool. He's actually. Uh, Mary, so not him. Who's their second best player? Uh, his name's Travis Kelsey. Oh, yeah? Tell me about him. Well, he's 6'4", he's good looking, and he actually had his own reality TV show about dating calling called Catching Kelsey. Hold on, say what? That's what I was going to say. That's okay, the there it is. Hold on, so it. this dude that we're looking for in the NFL, you're telling me he actually had his own reality TV show? So you mean he's comfortable in the tabloids? You mean he's cool with this type, type of publicity? Is he a shy guy? Nah, bro, that guy's all out there. Hold on, does he, hold, does he have like a podcast or anything like that? Yeah, actually he has a podcast that he hosts with guess who? His brother, Jason Kelsey. Well, what's his brother's deal? Oh, he's an awesome player too. They actually played in the Super Bowl against each other last year and there was a whole documentary about them. Oh, so you mean the NFL has already done content on these guys? Oh, for sure. So you mean, oh, maybe the NFL is behind these guys? Okay, so by the way, this is just, this is just a little old me scratching, a little uh, scratching around. So you're saying maybe if they ended up being together, the NFL would kind of get behind this and maybe promote this because it would maybe help their bottom line? I don't know. By the way, how much money does the NFL generate every year? Oh, 100, 100 uh, billion dollars? Okay, so maybe that could be 100 and... 25 billion. What do you think they can do with that extra 25 billion? I don't know, but we're sure hell figure it out, Chuck. All right, cool. So here's the deal, guys. Um, is Taylor Swift uh, doing any concerts in Kansas City? Well, actually, no, but we're going to add that to the schedule. Bingo. Okay, cool. So uh, Arrowhead Stadium, let's tag, let's throw that one in there. Um, by the way, does Travis Kelsey ever go to concerts? Uh, no, not, he's not really. Well, he is now. Um, Taylor, uh, meet Travis. Travis, meet Taylor. Uh, he just won the Super Bowl. This is Taylor Swift. You're a stud. You're a girl. Why don't you guys just spend some time in this room, get to know each other a little bit. Let us know how this thing goes. Just get to know each other. He's a big, strong dude. You have a picture of this guy? He's a big, strong dude. He's charming. He's got some looks. Girl like Taylor, who's dated Joe Jonas. Jake Gyllenhaal, Harry Styles, give me a and break. She's going to meet a dude like Travis Kelsey and be like, all right, I, I, I can be about that life. You know about this, Goldie. He's got swag. He's got riz. He's a big, strong dude. He's not no slouch. I mean, he's not worth her kind of money. He's worth $30 million. We'll get into that in a second. So maybe, just maybe, there he is right there. Good looking guy. Maybe. Just maybe Hollywood, the music industry, the NFL. By the way, he's sponsored by Pfizer now. Oh. That's big pharma. Uh, he just got um, uh, a contract. Aaron Rodgers called him Mr. Pfizer because he's now doing uh, Vax Booster ads. And he's also doing Campbell yeah. Soup ads. So, you know, you got COVID and chicken soup. Yeah. Call Mr. Pfizer. So maybe... Just maybe the NFL, Hollywood, the music industry, big pharma, big tech, social media have all just kind of put this little charade together just because, you know, they want these two lovebirds to work out. Maybe I'm crazy or maybe I'm onto something here. What do you guys I think? I think you're 100% correct. You're dead on. Isn't, so? it, yep. isn't yeah. it? Don't you say money follows money? 
follow the money, yes. But doesn't money also follow money? Yes. So I guess seeing all these like major corporations all working together, did they put them together? Maybe, probably, to some degree. Did they also like each other? Also possibly true. But doesn't it make sense that all these like major, major corporations would be trying to like cash cow out on like a major cash cow event? Correct. But okay. I also so, don't think it's a coincidence that and you made me think of this and I think you're dead on right that the other NFL relationships we've seen this year, remember the Jeffree Star, like who is that guy that he's dating for the, an NFL player, if I'm not mistaken? Mm -hmm. And now you have Alex Earl dating a major yes. Dolphins player. Like maybe there is something to this that it's not just this relationship. This one took off because you have a mate, like Taylor Swift is obviously, you know, but I think they're, to your point, they're trying to get different demographics, make sure everyone's getting along and it's all kind of in cahoots. I definitely think that you're right on about that. And I think Big Pharma's probably behind it. And I'll probably get shot for saying that, but <laughs> you're, you're dead on right. Absolutely. I would say that the likelihood of you being right is much, much, much higher than the likelihood of this just being a in love relationship. They just randomly met and fell in yeah, love bullshit. and that's just how it is. Excuse my language. There was yeah. definitely no strategic advisors involved. Right. There was definitely no money involved. The NFL really could care less about this. I'm sure her agents just want her to be happy or maybe. <laughs> it's just an absolute money grab and we all just fell for it. Or did we? I don't now you I have a question for our friend Lydia, our nice, innocent, pretty little, I think they love each other. Oh, no. <laughs> maybe there's a chance that you're wrong and maybe there's more to it. What do you think? Oh, you don't think they're in love at all? <laughs> <laughs> you don't? I don't know. I was hoping they were. I was hoping it was a little bit of both. You know what? You're the perfect <laughs> girl to advertise. You're the sucker. And I mean that in a beautiful way. Oh, no. <laughs> like, oh, Taylor and Travis, when's the wedding? Never, because they're going to break oh, up no. in about uh, well, six to great, 12 great months. Songs, right? And she's going to do what? Exactly. It's it's gonna gonna she's going to write it She's going to write a whole nother album. Either way, to win. Then right when football, yes, football season, exactly. season ends, they'll break up. She'll come out with an album, and then everyone will feel bad for him because they're broken up, and she has a new album. And that... They both, again, win. Views, all... Yeah. Right in time for Valentine's yeah. Day. So, so yeah. gonna, like, this, this is why I asked this you, is ladies, is what yeah. is like making her game plan, music, her next five just, moves? I think we just kind of... Like, they what? I said, I'm sure they're writing the album already if it's yeah. not so, already finished. Can I just ask, though, do we yeah. have, like, this established pattern of Taylor Swift, like, and her strategic, strategic team, like, doing this, like, kind of 8D chess long con relationship game? Or, because I know she always comes out with albums after her breakups because that's what she always writes music about. I guess, like, I guess maybe, maybe I'm stupid here. I don't see the secret. Like, I don't know what's the big secret that's getting revealed here. The secret is that nobody's ever questioned who she's dating and why she's dating him. I feel I've like never even given a shit. I feel like this people question who they're dating. Wait, because she's dating some Hollywood dating. guy, it's whatever, what's whatever. But what she did was transcend her bubble the Hollywood bubble, the Harry Styles, the Jake Gyllenhaals of the world, the Joe Jonas's of the world. And now she's showing up to man's area, football stadiums, in the freaking box, hanging out with Travis Kelsey's mom. Mm -hmm. And all the football fans are like, what the hell just happened here, buddy? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to watch a game. And everyone's playing Taylor Swift songs, right? Maybe so, she finally realized she needs a man and not the boy. Could it Could be, be that simple? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, now, could it be once you date both, one certain type the whole time and it's not working out, there is a time in your life when you're just, you know, changing your type. It happens to everyone. Okay. Mm. So Well, I do want to believe in that. You know, I do believe that you would be perfect in her strategic um, group. <laughs> and what you said was really nicely, nicely said and nicely done. And there's probably, I could say that maybe someone did meet them together, introduce them together, and they hit it off, and yeah. then they saw the opportunity for that to go further and then start the whole rumors and, you know, make them both benefit from it more. But I don't think you guys I'm a fully romantic type as understand well. the team <laughs> around this girl. I've yeah. seen it firsthand. Again, I started the whole conversation with the Kim Kardashian thing. Kim met my buddy at a basketball game. She identified him and said, oh, he's cute. What's his name? Number 43. Oh, let me look in the... His name is Chris with a K? Oh, my God. Okay, that's cool. I'm Kim with a K. So is Kendall with a K. So is Chloe with a K. So are all the fucking Ks. Oh, my God, even Chris with a K. Bingo. All right, let me meet this guy. But here's what happens. 
I said at the beginning, there obviously has to be some sort of spark and some sort of connection. Got it. But what happens is when that spark ensues, it causes a flame and the flame causes an explosion. And if these stri- stri- strategics, strategy guys, strategizers, strategery, I'm thinking of George W. Bush over there, strategery, <laughs> are not thinking this way, they're fired. I'm telling you right now, they're thinking money, 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 Taylor, star, icon, global, tickets, let's go, billions, billions, billions. If they're not thinking this way, why the fuck did I hire you? I'll go hire somebody else. So yes, there's a chance that they actually do get along. I would hope that, like, my buddy Kim and Chris, they actually were dating. They actually were. Well, here's what happens is that the agents and the managers and the PR people, and I would call the Hollywood parasites, leech on and they say, Mm -hmm. give me more, 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 make more, make more, make more. Here's a deal, money, NFL, bing, bang, bing, bing. So there's no, when you're that big, when you're Taylor Swift, we just said she was bigger than Beyonce. When you're that big, you're no longer a person anymore. You're an absolute business, you're an industry. And you have people and people's families and people's families, 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 relying on you, Taylor. So do they give a shit that maybe you catch Kelsey? No. They're trying to catch trillions. And that's how this thing works. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.